artistic dialogue and we have cool looking people and we have interesting looks and you know there's a very sort of strong stylized turn to it that if you get and you appreciate then it's a cool and exciting thing to be involved in. We're really excited about Jack Falls. This is the latest in our Jack series and we're going in a completely new direction for it. With this one, we're really going back to the roots of, of my graphic novel, back to the, to the nice sort of film noirish black and white look um, that I haven't seen in another film for a long time, probably not since Sin City. Uh, we started with Jack Says in 2007 and we followed the main character, Jack Adleth, who is an undercover police officer who gets caught up in uh, the web of the criminal underworld. Jack Falls is a really interesting story about an undercover cop who makes uh, questionable moral choices in the line of work that he does, such as the nature of the job and such as the nature of the character. It's all about kind of how far would you go in, in this sort of job where you have to be undercover and you have to kind of embody the life of a criminal in order for sort of a greater good. And I suppose it's about where you draw the line with those things. Well, we've been very fortunate on Jack Falls. We've managed to get together an absolutely stellar uh, ensemble of actors and actresses. Uh, in the lead roles, we had Simon Phillips coming back to rise his role of Jack Adleth. We have the wonderful Olivia Hannigan playing Natasha. We got Dexter Fletcher, of course, a great actor who's been in a lot of uh, a lot of films in modern times, such as Stardust and Kick-Ass and Lockstock. I am playing Detective Edwards. Which is first for me, never played a policeman before. Edwards is a, a bit of a grizzled old copper, been around the block a bit, been around for a while. Yeah, he's got a bit of time for Jack when Jack needs, you know, the favour to call in. He's the man that he calls in. Uh, Edwards is uh, somewhat lumbered with a, uh, a young detective partner, Poon. You know, he's a bit of a flash side, drives a Porsche. And I think any opportunity that Edwards has to ditch him, he, he has. So we shot a scene today where where Edwards is ditching Poon, but Poon's actually, you know, like uh, a few of the coppers in this story, is actually on the take, young and flash, you know, thinks he's a bit Miami Vice, whereas you can see Edwards is a bit more Columbo, you know, he's a bit more old school. Where's Jack? Tamahassan plays the boss, he's absolutely fantastic in the role. He's got a real presence. When he's on screen, you just can't actually tear your eyes away from him. And on set, he's a real imposing guy as well. Really fun to be around. Hits everything first time. Such a great guy and such a great actor as well. My name's Tamahassan and I'm playing the character of the boss. My favorite scene was actually in the pub when uh, we had that moment with uh, when I walk in and shoot the great Alan Ford. That doesn't happen too often, does it? I mean, we're so lucky to have him. And I've worked with him twice. I worked with him on a film called Dead Man Running, but we only had a little bit, so I'm really excited to have a, a, have a few nice scenes with him. And uh, there ain't a lot of people that can go out there and say they shot Alan Ford, but I did. We've got the really talented Doug Bradley, who most people probably know as Pinhead from Hellraiser. And I'm playing the Doctor. I'm not, um, not a straightforward kind of doctor, not the kind of doctor you'd want to trust your life to. I, I'm English, but I'm, uh, for whatever reason, practicing in slightly dodgy circumstances in Amsterdam. One of the most exciting moments for me on Jack Falls was having uh, the actor Doug Bradley come on board to play the Doctor. Doug obviously kind of famous for his Hellraiser connections uh, for some fantastic horror movies that I was really scared of growing up. It was at one point above me with a defibrillator <laughs> with an electric charge about to shock me and that felt like a really scary but surreal moment and I was really happy that he came on board kind of despite uh, our low budget nature but um, he, I think he just loved the style and the form of what we were doing. I think if the experience of Hellraiser taught me anything, it would be uh, don't let money be a reason for saying no to things. It's been wonderful to have Zach Galligan uh, on board with the Jack Falls cast. Uh, I've been a great fan of Zach's ever since I saw the Gremlins films when I was a child and it's been a real pleasure uh, working alongside of him. Last year I did a film with uh, Dominic Burns and Simon Phillips called Cut and so they said we're shooting this movie called Jack Falls in Amsterdam and I don't know if you'd like to do it but give you like a sort of a free holiday in Amsterdam and uh, it would be nice if you could do us a favor and do this kind of critical part. It looks pretty amazing on the monitor. The DP, James Friend, looks like he's doing a phenomenal job. I think it's going to be quite visually interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing it. A small part, but there are no such thing as small parts, only small actors. We've been in Amsterdam for about eight days, uh, working with our co-production company, uh, Smoking Barrel, and they've been helping us shoot all our impressive Amsterdam sequences. And this is probably our biggest one, uh, which features uh, Jack jumping off the bridge. So, very exciting. Um, and looking forward to doing it again and again and again. I have no one to blame, because when we were writing the scripts, this seemed like a really good idea, and I was really for it, up until the moment that I came here and had to get in it, because the water's quite dirty. 
Working with two directors is great. It's two energies that are combined, uh, both working together to bring that character development and that cinematic blocking that we need for this film. It is a different style of film, so having two bodies develop everything that we need is great. It seems to be a lot of hard work when you've got two of them because it's nice when you've got to talk to one, but when you talk to one, the other one gets jealous. He kind of pops his head over his shoulder and says, can you talk to me as well? You know, I am part of this show. All, all jokes aside, I think they're doing a great job, from what I've seen anyway. And I, I think they're going to go a long way. It was an amazing experience working with the cast of Jack Falls. Every different actor that came in brought something new. Uh, their process was unique. And it was a great experience as a director to, to witness that and go through that and work alongside that. And really it made our job as directors pretty easy. Uh, working with Alexander Williams is, uh, is a great experience. Obviously this is my first feature film directing. And I bring like the experience of the characters and of the stuff from the other Jack films. And Alexander, he's also quite new to directing. I mean, he really likes to get in there with the actors and kind of talk about the roles. Whereas I'm very much about what's on screen and you know I like to be by, be by the monitor and see how everything looks because obviously it's a very visual thing and I want it to really reflect my graphic novel. So uh, yeah, we work together really well as a team. Um, and I feel that uh, you know we got kind of a good chemistry on set together. We've got a great script, brilliant cast, a strong visual, unique and fresh look. And if the audience have half the amount of fun watching the film that we did making it, then we're definitely going to be onto a winner.